Hey, what's up guys, Eskazoo here, and welcome to episode 2 of Fatal Man of the Match. And uh, if you paid attention earlier today, then uh, you would have noticed that I actually already uploaded episode 2. Unfortunately though, for myself, I made a big mistake because I played against opponents uh, who weren't 100 chemistry and therefore the games didn't count. So I decided to play the games over again after I talked to Bateson and uh, he said it was fine. So um, yeah, you will see two brand new games in today's video. Anyway, just like I mentioned in the previous episode or in the, in the episode I already deleted, um, Douglas Costa and Manuel Neuer are now into the team and as the uh, substitute player, we do have Man of the Match Pulisic. Unfortunately though, he's extinct. At least when I was looking for him, so I'm not too sure who I should go with. Either the regular one or Diekmeyer. We already have Diekmeyer in the team, but he was also on my opponent's team. And we could potentially put him on the bench once we upgraded him uh, in the future. But anyway, we're going to go what will be the first game. We come against a uh, sort of a Premier League team, but also some La Liga players. And uh, you see that squabble and challenge version of Isco there. Unfortunately though, if we do win this game, I can't go with him since I don't have him in my club. And that pretty much counts for most of the squad building challenge players, apart from, um, I think, Douglas Costa and maybe a few others like uh, Son and Tadella Alley. I think those are the only ones. So, yeah, when we come up against the teams with squad building challenge players, it's pretty much a no-go for me to go with them. Unless you want me to go with the uh, with the regular versions of them. Anyway, um, yeah, in the previous episode, which I already deleted, we managed to get 200k. And uh, I obviously want to get something similar because I had some uh, some nice pairs in mind which I wanted to uh, to use for the team. And uh, the first half was very difficult uh, in the in the first game. You can see my opponent did create some chances. We did as well, but it was still nil nil. And uh, yeah, it was just a really really difficult uh, game and actually difficult to score. But then a few minutes into the second half, we do make it one nil with S Wine. I decided to put him as a striker, even though he's a right forward, and uh, he makes it one nil. And then two minutes later, it is Thiago with some great skill moves, and then with a uh, left foot shot, uh, pretty much outside foot, he puts it into the top corner, making it two nil. And uh, all of a sudden, we're 2-0 up. We're up 80k. So, uh, yeah, really nice way to uh, to go into the second half. Then the 83rd minute, my opponent gets himself a big chance too, but a good save from Neuer. And that's how the game ended. So, um, the first game, which actually counts, uh, we won. And uh, we got 80k from it, which is uh, a really, really nice way to, uh, to start, I guess. Uh, despite I wasn't really playing that great. But, um, yeah, moving on, what will be the second game? We come against a full Premier League team with some really interesting looking players. Uh, two five-star skillers there in Bolasi and also Gabriel Jesus. And uh, this guy was, uh, he was a skiller. You probably could have seen it from the team. As I mentioned, he had two five-star skillers. But also his play style, like the first chance he had already at the start of the game. He uh, went with a uh, flare pass, which didn't really work out for him. We did get a really nice chance here as well with Thiago. Would have loved to, uh, to see that one go in. But uh, this guy also happened to be a very, very tough opponent to play against. Um, very good at defending, very good at attacking. And um, yeah, probably one of the one of the best opponents I've played against, apart from the YouTubers, in uh, in any fatal I think. Uh, in the 30th minute, there gets himself a chance to good save there from Nor to keep us into the game. And in the first half, he created more and more chances. He was uh, definitely the better player I felt. Here a bad clearance for myself. Picks it up with Bolasi again. A really nice chip through ball to Lalana. Went with a scissor kick. Just went wide the post, and you can see from the stats, it was a bit even, but he had a few more shots. So, um, yeah, we uh, we got lucky in the first half. Then into the second half we go, S1 goes here through, but to pass it back to Thiago. Goalkeeper saves, was hoping for the rebound again, but couldn't really quite get there. Then a 66 minute, uh, he actually did some skill moves on his own half, which is not really the smartest thing to do. And we took advantage of it there, going to run here with Diekmeyer. Nice ball roll, we pass it off to Thiago, who pass it off to S1, at least that was my intention. And then all of a sudden we pick it up with Gnabry who manages to put it in. Uh, the goalkeeper wasn't really looking that great there. But uh, we're up 1-0 and that is of course what matters. And uh, the first uh, 30k is in the bank for us. Then uh, in the 70th minute, a few minutes later, he gets himself a chance here too with Gabriel Jesus. A good save there from Neuer again. Keeps on scaling here in the 83rd minute here with Bolasi. Nice ball there to Mane. We managed to uh, put him off the ball really nicely. And you can see from the from the runs he makes with it, with his players. He actually kind of tracked uh, the way I was meant to pass the ball. And uh, it made it sometimes difficult to kind of play those through balls. But uh, eventually I kind of knew what he was doing. So I managed to go on a really nice attack. And we actually score from it here with Thiago. Sort of a volley. The ball sort of bounced up. And um, yeah, we make it game over at this point in time. Again, up 80k. And I uh, was just hoping to score another goal. Uh, we were very, very close there with S1. I thought that actually would go in, but uh, it just went wide. And that's how the game ended. So uh, another win for us. Again, 2-0. 
and uh, that means we get another 80k. You can see from the stats a very, very even game, but uh, we definitely played a lot better in uh, in the second half. So um, yeah, the amount of coins we're able to spend at the end of this episode is 160k. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments as well which substitute player I should go with. Seen a lot of good players which uh, potentially could be into the team. Of course, keep in mind that we can't put them in the starting eleven. We can only use them whilst we're playing the games and then only from the 45th minute onwards. But um, anyway, we're going to move on to the pairs. Uh, I'm going to be showing you pair one, which is going to be Boateng and Ribéry. Uh, again, two Byron players, but um, yeah, it's, it's sort of a sort of a way we can go. Like we can go either full Bundesliga or we can sort of go like a hybrid kind of wise. And that is uh, the option with pair two. We have uh, Memphis Depay and Ben Arfa. Now, um, if you've seen the previous episode, you would have known that I actually used pair two already in that episode um, as an option as well. And I believe they were at the time like 194k or something because I picked up Depay for 186k and Ben Arfa is roughly like 8k. But right now, Memphis Depay has actually like gone down in price a lot. I think he's like 140k right now. I can put up a screenshot if you want to. And um, yeah, that means we uh, we are still able to get him. So uh, that's really, really nice. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below which pair should go with pair one or pair two. As always, there will be two comments uh, which you can vote on. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to be deciding which two players we're going to be adding to the side. But anyway, that's going to be the end. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. Would be very much appreciated. So to thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.